Millions of people travel through Central Florida every year, and sometimes they need a little bit of help finding the things they need and where they need to go. So where do they get that help? From signs. They're everywhere, and some of the best ones come from the knowledge and skill sets learned from industry professionals at conventions just like these. I'm Lindy, and on this destination, Orange County, we're at the Orange County Convention Center for the ISA International Sign Expo. Your sign is your voice and presence on the street. You can't be out there meeting everyone and doing everything yourself. So you have to use your signage to communicate with pedestrians and motorists about who you are and what you have to offer. It's how you convince people to come through your doors and do business with you. I'm here with ISA President Lori on the showroom floor. Now Lori, tell me a little bit, really what kind of effect does signs have on people? Signs have a huge effect on an entire community. In fact, signs are the most inexpensive form of advertising that we have, helping small businesses all over the country realize great profits. In fact, 50%, up to 50% of a customer base can come directly as a result of the sign. Now, how can a sign, like something like the size and the placement and stuff, does that really affect the effectiveness of how your sign is? is everything to do because imagine if you're a small business it's the cheapest form of advertising you probably can't afford other forms of advertising you need your audience your customers prospective customers to be able to see that sign if it is hidden if it doesn't have the right font or colors and it doesn't get attention it can mean the downfall of a business so a business that uses a carefully placed and well visible sign can be a profitable and growing business now realistically, how does a sign and something as simple as the sign industry affect the community? In many, many ways. If a business is strong, the tax base grows and people want to live there because it enriches the entire community. But if you look at a convention like this in Orlando, we bring some 18,000 people to town. It's very important for Orlando. But if your community is based a lot on tourism, it's extremely important because tourists are new to a community, so they will need to be able to know where to go, and those businesses want to entice those new customers in all the time. Signage can no longer be an afterthought for a business looking to make money. It needs to be a sophisticated and powerful marketing tool that can work 24-7, 365. Sounds simple in theory, but how do you make that work? It's important to continually keep on top of the latest trends. That's why coming to trade shows like this is vitally important to a business. Things are constantly changing in your business environment, and a trade show allows an opportunity to constantly stay on top of things. Continuous education is the key. The sign industry as a whole has seen many changes over the years, from hand-carved and painted to the glowing electric neon lights, and there have been lots of varieties in between but the latest technologies are requiring the industry to prove its adaptability once again. One of the things you're hearing a lot about these days is 3D printing. Now Robert, tell me a little bit about 3D printing. How does that work? So this is a, what you're seeing right here in front of you is a 3D printer that is commonly uh, used in the home or for hobbyist level. And it's going to be a uh, product that uh, anybody can use. Um, this is a, uh, what they typically use uh, for teaching 3D printing, um, and it's going to produce really nice output, um, but it's really not uh, used for engineering or any professional purpose. What is it? This is just for like the hobbyists, for yeah. people that are looking at stuff and building fun things or yeah. maybe small parts? Exactly. So think of a hot glue gun uh, uh -huh. using weed whacker cord and melting it one layer at a time. And to that's make how it, something like this. That's how it's made, yeah. Now this is not the only thing that you can do. There's a lot larger scales that are available. Is that right? Absolutely. For some more professional products, we, can, we have the ProJet X60 which is a machine that can produce uh, full color models uh, for architectural and for product packaging. So you can produce full color models that um, really are going to service the um, uh, architecture market and uh, 
um, any, anybody who needs a visual representation of a model. Now speaking of the real world, how does this relate to sign industries and businesses and how would this help people? So there's a lot of overlap. Um, a lot of sign companies are actually have engineers and architects as their customers right now. So they're buying this 3D output from somebody else. It makes a lot more sense for a, a sign company to service their uh, the existing market that they have and provide this kind of output to their uh, architect and engineering customers. So we even have more advanced machines that can produce very accurate parts um, out of solid plastic. And this is going to be for engineers. This is going to be for people who want very high precision. So we have a 3D printer to meet the needs of any um, application. You can't go anywhere these days without seeing digital signage all around you. Now, tell me what are some of the biggest potentials of digital signage? You know, we're seeing digital signage used everywhere now. From uh, We always saw it at the uh, airports. Uh, now you're seeing it at the malls, at the bars, at all the uh, restaurants. They're popping up everywhere. Even in the men's room, we're seeing digital signage now. So. Everywhere there used to be a banner or a poster as an opportunity for digital signage. Of course, the most obvious is at a restaurant where their menu board changes and they're using digital signage. Uh, but we're seeing it in lots of other places. Uh, the message can be changed on a regular basis. You don't have to reprint. So virtually anywhere a digital sign can be used today. And that's really a good point about, you see it in restaurants and stuff, anytime they change their menus or do something like that, it can be changed pretty much instantaneously, right? That's right, it can be, even from a tablet right there on the spot by the manager. So uh, very much an ROI for a restaurant, a good ROI, because instead of reprinting new menus, we just change it's it right on the spot. There. And it's really, it's visually attractive too. So that being an advantage, what are some of the other advantages to having this kind of stuff instead of the traditional printing? Well, the message is so dynamic. It really catches people's attention. Uh, you can do multiple messages. You can split the screen in many ways. You can have the weather going on, CNN going on, and you can sneak in some advertising here and there. So, so many ways to use that display. And it's using things that people are used to in their own homes. And in that case, they can check the weather. They don't have to pull out their phone. And you've still got your branding and your logo right there. That's exactly providing right. Providing them stuff they're already looking for. But you've got some new technologies that have come up. Tell us about some of the new stuff that's coming. We do. Some of the uh, touch features are now much simpler with a touch overlay. So people want to come up and interact with that display. That You can create those now. Uh, the wireless ability so that your smartphone, as you approach the sign, can interconnect with that sign and you can put your emails up there, your tweets and your uh, Facebook uh, messages can all now instantaneously go on those signs. So the wireless capabilities and the touch capabilities are two of the most uh, exciting things out there. No matter what your role in the sign industry is, the International Sign Expo is a great chance for you to come, network, get some new ideas and try out some of the products that are literally shaping the future. I'm Lindy. Thanks for joining me at the Orange County Convention Center at the International Sign Expo on this Destination Orange County.